Tissue? Yeah, I'll go grab some. 24 case? Okay. No. That's what I was thinking. I can do it again tomorrow, because tomorrow I have no classes tomorrow. Chips, some pop. Maybe some chicken breasts, you know those uh, boneless ones? Oh, yeah. Make some shake and bake. Okay, I'll just walk over there and I'll just walk to the dollar store over there. Because there's a safe way over there, too. Oh, yeah. Freezer back for a quick cheaper than at dollar store that they are at Safeway. Yeah. food that's going to expire from the, to that community fridge probably tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just going to give away all those chickens, but I'll write on it for immediate cooking only. Yeah. Because they're past their expiry date, but they're still frozen. Okay. I so, think they're still good. Yeah, that's what I'm just going to put for immediate cooking only. Okay. I'll write a note. No comment. Yeah, oh no, I need rice. I ran out. Okay. Rice. Okay. Yeah, so. Toilet paper, yep. Pop. Chips. Yep, what else? Uh, I'm good on butter, I'm good on potatoes, I'm good on... Hmm. I'm good on canola oil. Or, you know, oil. No, I'm good on butter. I just popped out my uh, block, my other block. Okay. So I'll get butter next time. Um, what do okay. I need? Um. You, are you okay for coffee, Dutch? Yeah, I'm okay for coffee. And cream and sugar? Let me check out. I think my sugar is kind of running low. Let me check it out. from that uh, rocket thing. Oh, yeah, okay. I got lots of Mr. Noodles. I got lots of uh, craft dinner. Oh yeah, pepper. Oh yeah, pepper. I have no more pepper. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Oh, what else? 
probably some um, probably some ingredients because I went to two cans of corn and I only have one more peaches and cream corn. I don't know. I still have tomato sauce, tomato paste, and peas and carrots mix in cream style corn. But that cream style corn is your guys, it's when you guys come around. <laughs> the cream style. No, I don't get the skinny. A small bag? Okay, spaghetti noodles. What else? Yeah. Macaroni noodles too? Of bread. <clears throat> yeah, because I only have one more in the freezer, and the other two, I have three bags of bread, but two of them are hot dog buns, and one of them is a rye bread bun. Okay, I'll grab only two bags, and I'll just throw them in the freezer. Yeah. Tongs. No, I'll ask if you guys can bring up those tongs that I left down there. Oh, yeah. uh, okay, sorry. Yogurt? Yeah. I need some yogurt. Yeah, yogurt. Need some greens. Yeah. Like yeah, I already got chips on there. Should I put down corn? Cabbage head? Huh? Should I get like a lettuce head? What? Some vegetables? <gasps> Should I buy some mushrooms? Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying or with my breakfast because I'm trying to make an English breakfast but you need mushrooms. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, you can buy mushrooms. How many tomatoes? Hey? Yeah. Okay. So let me try to start eating tomatoes. Why? Well, yeah, I didn't start eating tomatoes. And veggies as well. Just Veggies. I'm just going to do whatever. Carrots. Should I buy some carrots too? Carrots. Oh no. Because those peas those pea canned carrots will do, okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <coughs> yeah, I don't need character. Mm-hmm. What else would you need? Eggs? Yeah, eggs. I think so. Let me check actually. This time the enemy has proven stronger. Withdraw. Yep. Yep, I need eggs.
I will. I'm, I'm gonna try to get the least expensive version. I have been doing that. I haven't been just grabbing everything like I used to and just throw it in the cart. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. I'm looking at the prices and getting sometimes the cheaper version, which I don't like, but I am. Yeah, and you know, you're paying for the price, you're a little bit more expensive, like a hamburger, you don't have to buy the hamburger. I do, I look at all the prices. That's what I did the last time I was in there. I got all the lowest prices, but. Yeah, I like hamburger. Yeah, I cut those one pound pack, those one pound hamburgers in half. Because that one time I cooked a whole pound of hamburger and it was too much hamburger. It was too much food. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how to cook like a single portion. Like a quarter? After this class, I'm going to get ready and go walk around again. I'm going to go get my groceries. So I'll send you some money. Okay. You can get your weight with that and your food. My food. Nice. I was just going to say that too. Nice. Thank you. Yep, I will. And does that last you your weight? Your weight is that last you Saturday. Okay, I'll just try to buy one of those seven grams, even if it's like indica art hybrid. Uh -huh. And I'll stretch the and shit out of it. How much are we gonna? Oh. I'll send you a hundred twenty-five. Okay, because right now I still have ten dollars in my account. Okay. So It'll be a hundred thirty-five. Yeah, I'll send you a hundred thirty. Uh, hundred twenty-five. Hundred sixty, you'll send. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna try to get the big stuff today. Yeah, and so don't eat out today, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, or, or that matcha wook. Okay, because those things, the matcha wook, they're pretty cheap. It's like $10 for one item, $11.99 for two items, and $12.99 for three items. Yeah, I'm going to go to the mall over there. I'm just walk across that bridge. Okay. And I'll charge my phone so it's full. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, let's just send my condolences again. Yeah. Yeah. I will. Mm hmm. Okay, and I'll accept it. And it'll be the same password, right? Yeah, same password. Okay. 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 Love you. Wait. Love you. Yeah, love you. Do you have to hang up to do it, though? Okay, good. Yeah, just hang. We'll just I'll stay on the phone. But you called me, right? Okay, I'll I'll tough it out for the rest of the bit. Cause your phone's charging, right? Huh? Is your phone charging or is it dead? Uh, dead phone? <clears throat> no, yours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So you guys can get ready in a bit, hey, Dad? Yeah. And plus you work, you work night, yeah. So you, you guys were supposed to, oh well.
Next time when you guys come up, we'll, we'll go to the casino. Oh yeah, my ID doesn't expire. It doesn't expire till this year. My driver's license. What? Yeah, it doesn't expire till this year. That bus driver was being real dumbass. Or who? That uh, that that weed dealer guy. He was being real dumb. He told me it expired last year. I'm like, when? Uh, no, never. And I looked at it closely. And here it just says uh, December 22nd, 2021. Not 2020. Yeah. Wow. That's mm -hmm. good. So my ID is so good for this year. Yeah. So I can hopefully, I don't know. I'll try, I don't know. I want to get my drivers. Well, I think the one thing that helps you is ever. She can, okay. Yeah. Nobody ever takes me out for a drive. Yeah, I know. Well, for me, I can't, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had up my own car. Huh? No, I just want to do that test. Can you book it for me? Oh, so I gotta do my stupid learners again. Okay, so let's do it now. Okay. Five one stroke seven carried a pioneer bridge, two girder like ramps that were strong enough for the vehicle to drive over. The two five one stroke eight was the ambulance. It could carry two men lying down on stretchers and four <coughs> seated wounded, or ten seated. The two five one stroke nine was the Stummel, or stump gun. It had a low velocity seventy five millimeter gun taken from an up gun stuck three, which could give close range, high explosive, direct fire support. Not for taking on enemy tanks, though. Would probably lose. The 251 stroke 10 was the platoon command vehicle. Early versions had their 37mm Pac-38 anti-tank guns on the front with a full shield. Later versions cut the shield down a lot to be less conspicuous. The 251 stroke 11 was a vehicle for laying lots of telephone cable in a hurry. The 251s 12, 13, 14 and 15 were all high-tech, cunning artillery observation and ranging vehicles but none of them was ever built. The 251 stroke 16 was a flamethrower vehicle with a hose each side throwing flames out to about 40 yards under ideal conditions. Apparently they were useful for rapid counterattacks to retake lost trench systems before the enemy anti-tank guns could be ready. The 251 stroke 17 had a 20 millimeter flak 38 anti-aircraft cannon 
mounted in <laughs> several different ways, sometimes just pointing forwards, perhaps best for ground use, sometimes on a turntable with folding sides on the vehicle, which were armoured on some versions and not on others. The 251 stroke 18 was an observation post with a scissor scope rangefinder and a platform on the Ooh. front that you could stand on. The 251 stroke 19 was a mobile telephone exchange. The 251 stroke 20 had an infrared searchlight on it for illuminating targets at night for night sight equipped gunners to shoot at. The 251 stroke 21, also known as the drilling, had triple AA cannons mounted on it, 15 mm caliber, and then later 20 mm, and mounted on a naval style turret aimed by shifting body weight around. Hmm. And the 251 stroke 22 had a powerful 75 mm Pac 40 anti tank gun on it. I also came across a wood fueled training vehicle variant for training drivers without using up any precious refined oils. Oh, look out, someone's going to try to sell you something. Science is yes, cool, yeah. But do you have your own laboratory? No, I'm afraid you don't. That was just a color separation overlay effect. Do you have access to a public library? Uh, no, think again. They're all shut at the moment. We're in the middle of a pandemic. We have to watch out for COVID-19. Okay, okay. There's an empty way for it. I'm afraid. <laughs> CIBC account. Right, well, if I sit on the seat, my yep. entire head is exposed. Uh, so if I was going to cover this thing, 1956. And, uh, there are lots of people by the side of me, and I've got kicked with weapons, and I'm going to do this. Nice. So, I got it now. I got 135.54. Got it last night. But I'll fill it out. I should print it out actually. I will. I'm gonna print it out like right now. I just gotta get it all set up. Imagine he's gonna die by M2 way <laughs> four. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 
And if I cut across here, you see what I see through there. <laughs> when you tip on it, I suppose you can just see ah, enough so... to drop it. And then it's not. It's necessary. Uh, oh, is that right? I'm not going to turn this gear, is that right? I'm not going to turn the gear. Don't turn the gear. Okay. Ding. And I have Ding. three <laughs> things in the handbrake position here. Um, this middle one has got a double top bit and a wrenching, so it looks a, a lot like a handbrake. That's because it is the handbrake. Either side of it are the manual levers for the brakes on the left and right tracks and doing tight turns. Turning without the track brakes and a turning circle of 22 meters in diameter. Uh -huh. You can save the engine weight provided more grip for the front wheels. Yes, unfortunately this also meant that the tracks had less grip. Well, the gear stick is way over here. It's actually far more convenient for the man sitting on to the, to the right here. I can, I can reach it. So why does this platform never fire more than three shots? Uh, because, uh, <laughs> some of the pyro places there are. And I've got a big button, a big button there. So I better not push them. Uh, that presumably pushed something into the engine. Maybe a choke? Or something? Attention okay. to the map. Ah, these side ports, at least in this particular version, they're just bumped in place, so I can't actually open those side windows. <coughs> I think I've seen photographs of German ones of those windows and side windows open. Open, oh, yeah. Yes. And uh, whoever owns this has put a, a modern piece of uh, plastic foam there because I imagine he's probably tall enough to bash his head. You know, you'd have to be pretty short to be wearing anything on the head and have no chance going over a ground slashing your head on that. Uh, there's a lip here as well, catch the back of your head. <laughs> like monkey witches. <laughs> <laughs> I killed the freaking tank with that gun, that's funny. Okay, and that's forward loss. Might not want to do that. I'll not play do that. Put it back up. There you go, now it's in the opposition. position. The steering wheel would turn the front wheels up to just five degrees either side of straight ahead. After that, if it was working, there was an automatic hydraulic system that engaged I one of the track brakes incrementally, gently at first. So in fact, it ended up being as complicated to make as most tanks. The owner told me that it is very difficult to drive and that most people cannot work the gears. I said earlier that this was what looked like a 251. Actually, it sort of isn't a 251. After the war, a Czech factory called this, I'm not going to try to say it, that had been making 251s continued making half-tracks for the Czech army. And the new vehicle was called the OT-810, and they made them until 1989. Designed for Cold War era fighting, though, and had a roof so that they could be NBC sealed for a war in which it was feared that nuclear, bacteriological and chemical weapons would be used. This means that it's quite a lot of work to get one to look like its 251 ancestor. Most 251s today that can be driven are really converted OT-810s. Telltale things to look for are a thin vertical section of hull down the side and round side blocks towards the back of the sides. And according to this, it is done to So, uh, oh, just one very careful owner. So, uh, apparently this is for sale and you can have it for 30 grand. <laughs> Very careful owner. So uh, apparently this is for sale and you can have it for 30 grand. <laughs> 30, 30 grand kind of low. Especially about loud leather. Man, I got it to kill. <clears throat> 